you doing? Getting a little fast. <laughs> well, what you doing though? Oh, I'm getting changed. It's raining. I gotta put my raincoat on. Oh. You don't want to open Pokemon cards? <laughs> yes. You do? I was waiting for you to be done. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be opening another Japanese set. Eruption Walker, or Explosion Flame Trotter, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> has officially been released, and uh, I finally got my booster box. I do not know when exactly this set released, but my expected delivery date wasn't until May 15th to the 20th, but I got it yesterday, so happy surprise for us. But we... We never get first pack magic, so we opened the first the first pack of each side, so my side and then her side. And I pulled a VMAX Butterfree and she pulled a Hollow Agron. So what the heck? But happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there, to all of you sisters who raised your siblings or grandmothers or uh, maternal figures who have raised children or helped to raise children. Thank you for everything that you do. You're greatly appreciated. We wouldn't be the people we are today without our mothers or our maternal figures, however you would like to put it, but it is a day for celebration and loving your mother. All Socially right. distant, though. Yeah, but six feet apart. Leave room for Jesus. Leave room for Miss Rona. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I hope you guys have had a, had a wonderful weekend. I'm sorry the video's a little bit late. Um, yesterday I was completely incapacitated due to a migraine. Um, until pretty late at night, I did do a live stream with Nate for a little bit, so, um, there's just no point in trying to record a video and edit it and get it out at 8 o'clock at night. It's not going to, you know, reach as many people going out that late, so I figured it was just best to put it off till today, yeah, and we would do it today. Until like yeah, it took a, a long time. Oh man, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I thought my other, <laughs> I thought the... The sound was on for my phone. We're not doing as like a formal of a video for the weekend, so, um, but we should be pretty soon getting back to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday pack openings since Rebel Clash is out and we did get our stuff for it. Um, but we do have this, so we've got quite a few packs to open. I figure we just sit here and have, you know, chill time and open some Japanese Packs and sit back, relax, and enjoy. Yeah, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. I can't relax trying to open these though because here you want this. I I need to get at least one good pack for Michelle. Oh okay. And I'm All gonna right. have to do it by popping. I don't remember what the trick is. I think I think I just moved. <gasps> they heard me. <laughs> one good pack by popping. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Good pack. <laughs> My ear. I'm sure your all's ears are hurting too. Why do I always look at the wrong camera when you're here? I'm going to move it. Because I'm trying to look at you. I look in the fucking screen because I'm trying to look at you. So first, <laughs> first, first pack. Here we go. I think the trick is you just move one to the front. I can't remember. Um, but some cards to look out for in this set would be the gold shiny Rillaboom. And nobody cares about anything else because gold shiny Rillaboom. I will be going on eBay to get the pricing information for these cards. So there will be posts down below when ultra rare and above are pulled. I will be Thanks. checking to see if there's any like super spectacular trainer cards that are going to be a little more expensive, kind of like with the boss's orders. So if we do stumble upon one like that, there will be a price below for you as well. So we've got Sarina, Mr. Mime, Doug Trio, Bound Sweet, and a Hollow Milotic. Very nice. This box is full of pulls so far from what we've opened. All right, here we go. Okay, we've got a steam. I need to. We need to order. Can you guys steam. see this? All right. Get closer. There we go. Did you hear me? Yeah, we need to order some. Not sleeves. But pages. Like pages. Yeah. We've got Steeny. That's a very interesting Steeny artwork. It looks very different than the anime to me. Okay, what's the one before Talonflame? Uh, Fletchender. <laughs> Furret, wow. <gasps> and a hollow Corviknight. That is a beautiful card. Look at the guy on his back. So if you guys are not listening to the Shadowless podcast with uh, Real Breaking Nate and Jordan Fringe, 
you are not only severely missing out, but you will have also missed the news that the Pokemon Center in Japan has gotten some pretty neat, uh, where's the scissors? Oh, right here. Some pretty neat exclusive items, including a life-size Corviknight plushie. Oh. A life-size Pikachu plushie. Wait, wait, wait. Life-size Corviknight in the sense of life-size what it says he is in Sword and Shield. Like, big enough to care fly or something around. Big boy. <gasps> big boy. Like, five feet tall, I think it is. I want it. it is huge. And they are only available at the Pokemon Center at Japan. So, <laughs> this, this card right here, I know, has a gold card, a secret rare, that a lot of people are super excited about pulling. I've seen a bunch of people post it on Instagram. So, I'm excited. I really want to know what it says. I'll look it up and I'll put it here on the screen for you guys to uh, so you know what that card actually does. Another Carablast. What the heck? And Mr. Rhyme. Look at that. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. The artwork on these cards is absolutely beautiful. I am a little confused, though, by the Pokemon that they have chosen. It just seems a little strange to be bringing back Pokemon like Fletchender and uh, Carablast. Per Throwback Thursday. Per yeah, Throwback Thursday for Pokemon. Um, it just seems like a very strange mix, but maybe it'll make more sense when... Um, the other set that goes with this comes out, but for right now, I'm just, I'm very confused. And this is a pretty small set, much like most of the Japanese sets. There's only 70 cards, not sure how many secret rares, but I will find out for you guys that information as well. That is a very nice trainer card. Wow. The artwork on these is absolutely phenomenal. Already pulling some dupes. I can see them. I can see them. All right. I, no, I found some pages. You did? Mm -hmm. We don't have, we need them for the Rebel Clash. One, two, three, four, five. What's five times 18? So 50 plus 40, 90. Well, we need to save them for Rebel Clash because we don't have any room for any full arts. For that is Clash. very, very true. So let me know down in the comments below what your guys' favorite pull so far has been from Rebel Clash. And are you having trouble pulling stuff? Because we are. we're having a ton of trouble. Ooh, look at that Galisopod. I think Very we've gotten nice. more pulls from this in comparison than we have from Rebel Clash. We have. We've from the entire booster box, I think we only pulled three hollows, two V Max, a full art, and three V's, which is not a lot when you're comparing it to the pulls we got from Sword and Shield. Um but I've heard a lot of people are getting amazing pulls and they're getting, you know, pulling golds left and right and rainbows left and right, but not us. Maybe it was just that first box, but it it really hurt my soul. We were not getting a whole bunch of good stuff. Ooh, yeah, another real, freaking hollow. The real breaking ain't actually beat us at a pack battle. He yes, he did. We did a pack battle last night on Instagram Live with Nate and Marie. Um and Nate won. Usually, somehow, I suck his luck right away, and it just disappears, and then Nikki and Marie will get all the, all the good pulls. But not this time. Not this time. Nate pulled a gold twin energy, which is an amazing pull, and that, that card is priced surprisingly low right now since there are no tournaments going on. Uh, the championship series has been completely canceled due to uh, COVID-19. So the card's only $13, and you guys know the special energies like that, they usually go for a lot more because they're super playable and people like to have them in their, um, in their decks. But since you can't play, cards aren't playable. But it has also drastically driven up the price of code cards. If you guys go to like the ptcgocodes.com uh, or anything like that, they're asking like a dollar 30 per rebel clash code oh heck look at that we got a Ooh. galarian stunfisk v first v poll of the video i have back? uh yes have you sleeve it up there we go. and i'll have a price down below what an awful pokemon i absolutely hate it sorry <laughs> i hate it i hate it so much i always step on them <laughs> in sword and shield um but the code cards are ridiculously expensive because nobody can play in person right now. There's no tournament. So all of everybody's practicing and everything else has to be done online. And with all these new sets coming out, everyone's going to be trying to build new decks because by the time the 2021 championship series comes around, 
there's going to have been like four new sets out that have never seen co uh, competitive play in person. So it's, it, it's just going to be wild. I, we've never seen anything like this before. It's, it's like the world has hit the reset button on competitive Pokemon play. No one's going to know what anybody's freaking doing. I just, oh, I could talk to you guys about that for hours because I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm not. <laughs> um, I do believe by the time the competitive scene comes back, team up will no longer be allowed to be used, which means a lot of the most popular decks that are out right now, meaning the Gengar Mimikyu, the, um, the Mew and Mewtwo decks, the probably the Trevenant and Dustmoor because eventually that Sun and Moon promo is going to be too too far back for them to be allow and to play. So a lot of those crazy crazy decks are going to go bye bye, and there's going to be new ones coming out. I wonder out. if they're going to change up how they do stuff. I don't know. I just man, I'm really looking forward to seeing that Gengar Mimikyu go away. I hate that <laughs> deck and the Greninja Z Zoroark. There's oh man. I am not an expanded play type of gal. I really like standard play because I like expanded. There's too many cards to pick from. There's just too much. I just want to put everything in my deck and I can't because there's no room. You can only have so many cards. <laughs> Alrighty. So we are going through this entire booster box minus the packs that we opened yesterday. I think we opened two each. <gasps> Look at that! A full art trainer! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I try to keep them it's in there. It's so cute. <gasps> oh. And not in any particular order, so they were... Look surprising. at how beautiful. What a pull. Okay, so I am going to try to find the translations for the trainers and stuff that um, I pulled that are either ultra rare and above or something that looks extra interesting so we can uh, see what it says and see if it's going to be something that is heavily chased after in the English version. Okay. That, what an awesome pull. What an awesome pull. 10 out of 10 for that full art trainer. All right. Larvitar. Talon, or not a Fletchender. Sorry. Wishy Washy and another hollow Agron. All righty. It's a lot of pulls. Yeah. This is a lot for a Japanese set. Um, they feel bad for us. <laughs> so. Hey, we're sorry that uh, rebel clash sucks for pulls. Not just but here us. You go. I think they feel bad for the Pokemon community. You no, know, you're not being able to play. And... Yeah, it's is it? Let's so... give them shiny stuff. I'll take their mind off it. Mm. Yeah, shiny, shiny will distract in the hardest of times. Um, I I really do enjoy opening the Japanese sets, but I wish I could read the Japanese, so I would know and be able to easily tell you guys without having, you know, to have it scroll I across the screen feel that i don't know if they use the same art on the english versions not always i don't but think i think some of the japanese art for their cards is more dynamic card of war vegan look at that wow when she's a psychic so this is the first time we're seeing guard of war is not a fairy in quite a while because i think the last guard of war we had was like gx uh -huh. gx wise was the guard of war and sylveon tag team so, and that was a fairy type. Yes. Oh, man. All righty. All the good pulls today. So that's what so far? Five hollows, two Vs, and a full art. And we still have four, six, pa six packs left total. Let's see what else we can get. And this comes with 30, 30 packs of cards, five cards each. You're not guaranteed a rare you're not guaranteed a hollow. You're not guaranteed anything except five cards in a pack. I did get this off of eBay, and I paid, I think, $55 for it, which is not bad. You would pay a little bit less if you got it directly from Japan, but then you'd pay more in shipping costs because, um, hello, it's far away. Schnubble. Oh. Layron. Here. Rookie That's a hollow you gave me. Oh, shit. Six hollows. What a lovely dark cry. How did I even miss? How did I miss over that? And a Butterfree V. Wow. Okay. You didn't notice Hello. <laughs> right over my head. Very sparkly boy. We like it. We like we it. We are killing the poles on these. I yeah. What? Where is this luck coming from? It's you guys. You guys are giving us the luck today. I knew it. I knew it. All right. This video is going to be a little longer than normal because we're just 
we're, you know, chilling, just relaxing, opening some cards, chatting, and we're opening a lot of packs, so, <gasps> a Toxtricity V, or not V, sorry, a Hollow Toxtricity, look at that, yeah, it's the back. Amped form, look at him, is it, no, blue, wait, I don't even remember, I haven't played Sword and Shield in so long. Amped is yellow, isn't it? Look at him, okay. I don't know, his hair looks yellow, but his belly looks blue, so. Ooh, I like it. Dang, lots of hollows. So that's now six, seven hollows. Three packs left, guys. Can we pull a gold? Do you think that we have enough luck left in this box? No, I don't. To pull a gold? I don't. Nikki doesn't, so. She's usually right about everything, so maybe we won't. <laughs> the furret is so cute. I know exactly who would love this card. Mr. Jordan Fringe. He loves the furret. Ooh, and a Larvesta. All right, so yeah, I know what's left in mine. Last so. pack, magic. It is your good pull. Is your pull on the last card? Or I no? think it is. I think that okay, one it no, is. No, it's not. No, it's not. All right, we've got an interesting little umbrella here. Trainer card. Don't know what that is, but I'll try to get it translated for you. A Toxel, Mr. Mime, Larvitar, and a Centa Scorch V. Not even a dupe. Holy crap! This the box is insane. Yeah, I know. So all of our duplicates um, for the Japanese stuff we give to our daughter because she prefers the Japanese cards to the English. And so far, this is the only dupe for um, like a hollow or anything. We do have a lot of the non-hollow dupes and stuff, but typically in a Japanese box, we see a lot more duplicate hollows and Vs than we're seeing today. But yeah, we've seen one, it's just the Agron. All right. Last pack. Last pack magic. We're gonna love the pack, caress the pack, and hope that we get something amazing. <gasps> Ascend a Scorch V Max! Look at that! How perfect was that? The last two packs. What the heck? <gasps> Not one duplicate. Ultra rare pull. Holy crap. All right. And here are the other ones that we opened off camera so we can see the whole box. So these were our pulls from the entire box. Let me very carefully scoop these up. Let's go over the pulls real quick. I know it's been a long, long video for you guys, but we're getting some exciting pulls, so it's okay. Look at all these beautiful hollows. We did get two of the Agron, so that's the only, only dupe we've had, but we did pull one of them off camera. There were no duplicate hollows pulled in the video, which is strange. A beautiful full art trainer card. Absolutely love it. Galarian Stunfisk V, a Gardevoir V, Scorch V, Scorch V Max, Butterfree V, and Butterfree V Max. Oh my god. That's absolutely amazing. So this video was by far one of the best Japanese openings I think we've had. I think hope you guys enjoyed that because holy crap, good pulls. Pats on the back, pats on the back all around. But thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below. Really appreciate it. In the description below, you'll find links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Um, I should be streaming this evening. We're going to be doing some raiding in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. We have not raided in a long time. We want to see what we've been missing. And hopefully you guys will be there to hang out and maybe raid with us. But I hope you have a fantastic Mother's Day to all my ma 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 To all my mothers out there um, and everybody else. Have a safe and wonderful rest of your weekend. And we'll see you next time. Oh, wait. <laughs> The 1,000 subscriber video is coming very, very soon. Um, my special guest is not going to be uh, physically here. We're going to try to do something with him so you guys can still have kind of an exciting guest for the video. But that will be coming out this week on Wednesday. My 1,000 sub video, we are opening a $1,000 uh, vintage mystery box. Everything in the box is vintage every single bit. So very excited to show you guys. Be sure to watch out for that. Okay, and really, bye.